In a world where human, animal, and environmental well-being are closely interconnected, the One Health approach plays a crucial role in addressing the challenges of our modern societies. In Zimbabwe, the Humani project led by RG, the French National Research Institute for Sustainable Development, is implementing this holistic approach. Humani is organized around five research pillars. First, to understand the connection between local communities and natural resources. Second, to track the movement of pathogens hosts. Third, to monitor the transfer of pathogens between wild animals and livestock. And finally, to build models on the evolution of these aspects according to different scenarios like biodiversity erosion and climate change. Humani also aims to create a lasting dialogue between the scientific community and civil society, making local needs a top priority. The partners of our project use the principle of sustainability science to build a brighter future together. The project is uh, the fruits of a lot of partnership interaction. We are very lucky to work in Zimbabwe because um, there are research that they are done with uh, French collaboration and Zimbabwean uh, a researcher since now 20 or 25 years, which is really important. We need to have this uh, long-term understanding of the functioning of an ecosystem and also trust of all our partners uh, to build um, really a project with different disciplines that try to communicate and uh, understanding each other and, uh, and try to maybe transform or um, better understand the ecosystem. My name is uh, Tende Serima. I'm the forester for, for Sekumi Forest. In year 2021, we are approached for the project of Yumani, which is uh, the interaction of uh, domestic animals and wildlife animals. So there's uh, communities heavily depend on natural resources. So as Forest Commission, we allow cattle to graze into our forest, forest areas. So, meaning the interaction or coexistence of wildlife and, uh, and livestock. So, as Forest Commission, what we have done with them, we, have, we, we provide rangers to patrol our areas to check on the, on the movements of uh, wildlife and livestock. Currently, they have done 24-hour game counts within our, our forest area, and they have done capturing and coloring of buffaloes within, within the forest areas, maybe to know the carriers or the pathogens which causes diseases to both humans and livestock. We have different um, stakeholders coming together to put input into the project to say, why not look at certain aspects in terms of what we will do um, on, the, on, the, on the protocol. It's a concept that needs a permanent presence in one area for a very long term because to be able to to do sustainable science we need to engage very closely with the communities and with all the the stakeholders uh, in one area and to do that on the long-term basis otherwise it's a short-term research it's a short-term action and there is no sustainability Sustainability science is people understanding how they are connected to nature and their natural resources and how they can use those resources now without depleting them and they can also benefit the future generations or other ecological processes. How to make sure that uh, the environment is sustained over a long period of time, both the human and the natural environment. What image we have of these systems, what different people uh, think about this system because everybody has its own truth and maybe the more complex thing is to acknowledge that there may be different perspectives, different understanding. The importance to promote scientific tools to address crucial questions of our centuries linked to biodiversity erosion, climate change or emergence of the future. How to carry on, how to have uh, adaptive uh, mechanisms that people have to persist in an ecosystem. Each year I have the feeling that we are adding a layer in a different um, approach. We start with a very an ecological approach after epidemiology and after sociology and now 
uh, there are more agriculture, there are more uh, civil society that they are in the loop and now we, it will be potentially very interesting to add also a layer of, of human health to really have this approach of uh, one health, eco health. The Humanity Project illustrates how the health of humans, animals and the environment are interconnected. This project, led by the French National Research Institute for Development and its international and local partners, is making significant strides toward a more resilient world where people and nature are respected. In fact, this example showed that sustainability science and sustainable solutions are possible. Solutions that consider the needs of society without over-exploitation. Solutions that bring together scientists, policy actors and local communities.